right, welcome back, everybody. Famed Hollywood actor and director Warren Beatty is facing accusations that he coerced a 14-year-old girl to have sex with him 50 years ago. A Louisiana woman, Christina Charlotte Hirsch, filed the complaint against defendant Doe, but the documents make it very clear that she is referring to Warren Beatty. Hirsch says she first met the defendant on a movie set in 1973 when she was 14 and Beatty was 35. And she says that the actor used his power and influence to convince her to visit him in his hotel and eventually have sex with him. The filing says that Hirsch suffered physical injuries then and still suffers psychologically, emotionally, and mentally. Now, a California law actually allows adult survivors of childhood sexual assault to file lawsuits within 22 years of them reaching adult age or within five years of discovering that an injury or illness is related to a past sexual assault. Brian, I think this is fascinating, but this happened 50 years ago. Do you think that this lawsuit is really going to go anywhere, or was it filed to make more of a symbolic message? I think at the onset, at the very least, it has some legs to stand on. Now, Hirsch is filing a suit using a 2019 California law, uh, giving a three-year look-back window for claims of child sexual abuse past the statute of limitations. That window, interestingly enough, actually ends January 1st of 2023, so she had to get this in. Now, before the new law, sexual assault claims were brought in a similar fashion as you described. Now, baby was wasn't actually named in the suit but it's absolutely clear that hirsch meant to name him because she said the defendant as being a person nominated for an academy award for his role as clyde in bonnie and clyde hirsch said that she met the defendant as you said on a movie theater and that because of this undue attention giving her her number he called multiple times she's actually saying that warren groomed manipulated exploited and coerced her into sexual contact all of those are typical allegations in a case like this now warren Beatty, he would have been 35 at the time she's 14 or 15 that's statutory rape she says at the time she was thrilled by the attention and she's now seeking damages i can see the defense saying hey this is buyer's remorse because they're not going to be on the hook for statutory rape because this is a slightly different situation but still bad nonetheless she's saying that she's having difficulty interacting with people of authority and issues of trust and control the claims seem to be pretty serious jesse especially with this new law but the question that i would have is can she prevail at trial with a case this old and with these facts? Mm. Well, Terry, let's play it out. Assuming this case moves so forward, how can Hirsch really explain the delay in coming forward with her claims? You know, she's going to have to explain it because 50 years is a very long time. And I think what they're going to have to do is put an expert on that stand. They did that in the Harvey Weinstein case. They said that Dr. Barbara Ziv, she's a forensic psychiatrist, they could do something like that here as well. And I think what the doctor, if they put someone on the stand, would ultimately say is, look, she was a child, she was 14, she probably thought she would get in trouble, it was someone she knew. She probably didn't even know what rape is or what sexual assault is. So if you have an expert who can come on the stand and explain all of that, I definitely think it's going to help the case. So I think they're gonna call some experts and I doubt very seriously if she herself will get on the stand. Terry, I mean, if this does go to a trial, is he gonna testify and what would he say? Good question. I think he could get on that stand. He's going to probably have to explain, you know, that it never happened. Obviously, he can't talk about consent because she was 14 at the time, but he will probably try to explain, or his lawyers will, that it didn't happen, that she mistakenly identified him. We saw that that just happened in the case against Dershowitz, where there was a mistaken identity. So something like that could really happen if, in fact, Beatty is able to prove, look, I wasn't there, and she's wrong. I think she's making a mistake. What a case. I'm going to be curious to see how that one plays out.